What's up guys, this is Shaveen and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix a problem that your camera is not working on Zoom and you are getting the error message that you cannot start video and it says that failed to start the video camera, please select another video camera in settings. So if you are having this problem then this video is for you. And before I begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems, then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. The first thing I would like you guys to do is if you're using a dedicated camera, then make sure that your camera is working and is connected to the PC and is recognized by your computer. And I would also recommend that you update your windows to the latest version and try disabling your antivirus temporarily and check whether that fixes your problem. Now let's move on to the actual solutions to this video. So the first thing you have to do is open up zoom. Then in zoom go to zoom settings. After that go to video and then in video select the right camera from the camera drop down option. Also. Go to the advanced section and here you'll find settings like optimize video quality with denoise, video processing, sending video and receiving video and video rendering method and stuff like this. So I recommend that you mess around with these settings and check whether any of these settings might fix this issue. For example, if you have enabled all of these settings, then try disabling these optimize and video processing settings. And for the video rendering method, video rendering processing and video capturing method, then all of these to auto. After that, just restart zoom and check whether your problem is fixed. The next solution to fix this problem is going to window search and then searching for camera privacy settings. Once you open up the camera privacy settings, make sure that you turn everything on on this page. So camera access for this device is on, allow apps to access this camera is on and all the Microsoft apps are allowed to access the camera and all the desktop apps are allowed to access this camera as well. Now the next step is using Retrogit to fix this issue. So just go to your Windows search and then search for run. Then in run type in Retrogit. And once you open up the registry editor, just navigate to HKey local machine then software, then Microsoft, then Windows Media Foundation, and then platform. Once you reach platform, on the right hand side in the list, you may find a D word known as enable frame server mode. If you do not find it, that's fine. If there is already a file named as enable frame server mode, then just double click on it and for the value if it is set to 0 then change it to 1 and if it is set to 1 then just change it to 0 and if there is no file named as enable frame server mode onto the list in platform then just right click on the empty space on the right hand side and then select new keyword 32 bit value after that just type in the name enable frame server mode and for the value set it as 0 and then restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. If it is not fixed you can try setting the value to 1 and check whether that fixes your problem. Now if you are on a Windows 64 bit version then you have to do one more step. So in order to check whether you are on 64 or a 32 bit version just go to your Windows search and then search for control panel. In control panel go to system and security and then system. Once you reach system in system type you'll find your operating system. So my system is 64 bit so I have to do this additional step. And the additional step is to navigate to HK local machine in Regigate and then software then wow 6432 node and then Microsoft and then Windows Media Foundation and platform and then do the exact same steps that we did before in this platform folder and again restart your PC to save the changes and check whether that fixed your problem. Now the next step is updating your drivers so just go to your windows search and search for device manager 
Once you open up the device manager, then just open up the camera tab and if your camera doesn't appear here then i have another video which explains it or you might find your camera drivers in another folder known as imaging devices so just open up your cameras and then select the camera that you want to use then just right click on it and then go to uninstall device and if it gives you a warning for delete the driver software for this device do not check it and then click on uninstall after that, just go to the action tab and then select scan for hardware changes and your camera should appear back onto your device managers list. If it doesn't, don't worry, just restart your PC and your computer will automatically download the drivers for you and your camera will be back in the device manager. So once it's back in the device manager, then just right click on it and then click on update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. After that, once the process finishes, then restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. If that does not fix your problem, then again right click on your camera and then select update driver. But this time go to browse my computer for driver software. And then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And after that, make sure that you select show compatible hardware. And in the models list just select the first default model that you have selected on the list and then just click on next and continue and once it's installed then restart your pc and check whether that fixed your problem finally if none of these solutions work then i recommend that you manually download your camera drivers from your manufacturer's website so for example i'm using an integrated camera on my lenovo laptop so i'll just go to lenovo's website and download the camera drivers for my specific model from there then just follow up the installation wizard which is very simple follow the steps on your screen install the drivers restart your pc and check whether your problem is fixed if you're using a dedicated camera drivers the process is exactly the same you just have to go to the website of your webcams manufacturer and download the drivers from there now for the last two solutions in this video the first one is using command prompts to solve this issue so just go to your windows search and then search for command prompt then right click on it and then click on run as an administrator once you run the command prompt as an administrator i'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out these are the dism and sfc scan now command just paste these commands in the order given in the description below so first one being dism commands that is check health scan health and restore health and after that sfc space slash scan now command once you run all of these commands then just restart your pc and check whether your problem is fixed and the last solution i can offer you guys is to toggle on your camera manually from your dedicated camera key so if you are on a laptop or even a pc then you might have a dedicated camera key on your keyboard so for example for me i have the f7 key as my camera key and it has a small camera drawn on top of it so whenever i press my s7 or fn plus f7 key then it toggles my camera on and off so just check your keyboard for a dedicated camera key and make sure that you toggle on your camera from there and this was it for this video guys i hope this video helped you and fixed your problem if it didn't then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video specifically to your problem and if it did then just comment down below which solution worked for you like the video and make sure that you subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video until then bye